It is like 10 after 3 in the morning. I'm checking out. I had to get Dame up out of bed so I could split the bill down here. We should have done it earlier, but hello. Well, we just finished uh, dividing up the bill and and uh, the lady didn't want to divide up the internet bill, which we thought it was going to be a lot of money, but it turns out that at VidCon, um, only, I guess, got a good rate of $5 a day. But she said, she said for the $12 one. So you got to figure. It must be a little bit more. Yeah, probably. 10 maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, eight, maybe eight, eight or ten dollars. Yeah, so for that twelve dollar regular kind of internet, it was they dropped it to five dollars for us. Uh, she said right now the rooms are like two seventy five or go, go, up, go, to up to three hundred. Three hundred. And yeah. so VidCon really through through the code on their website when you first get your ticket. Oops, yeah. First get your ticket for. <clears throat> Uh, for VidCon, there's a link in the, their original email or whatever saying, you know, click here to get a good rate on one of these hotels. Mm -hmm. And that's why I jumped on it really fastest. We had the same deal last year, uh, last year but we were at uh, the Clarion. Clarion. So this is a way better hotel than that. Next year we're going to try and get into the ha uh, Hilton. If we can't, it's at this one. <laughs> it's either one of these two. A heavy recommendation, of course, is to because you, you got to figure the way VidCon is actually set up. You find out about VidCon this year for next year, so you're figuring somewhere. When did we find out? Like October was it October? Yeah, it was Come really there? close to yeah Christmas. Right. I think. I, yeah. can't, remember, I can't remember when the original email went out. Yeah. But you figure it's as soon as you guys hear about it, or as soon as you see Ken posting about it, myself posting about it, jump on it because the rates are going to be low for everything. It's going to be low for the hotel. You'll be able to get the early bird pass for VidCon. Don't wait on that stuff. A lot of people wait till the last minute, and that's when all the prices get jacked up. Yeah. And it's going to be hard to stay close because the distance between both the Marriott and the Hilton across the way, literally you're steps away from the convention yeah. center. The further you stay out, the more you're gonna either be walking or you're gonna be driving just to get up over here. Nice. So the Hilton or the Marriott are the best two hotels to stay at for VidCon. Uh, I will give them a shout out like a day after I book mine. Right. <laughs> right. And as soon as it goes live, and I'm not gonna tell everybody, and then I go to book my hotel and it's gone. <laughs> exactly. Like, hey, thanks, Ken. Yeah, we'll, we'll, let you know we're all staying there. That's right. We're gonna let you know after I book mine. So. Not that we get any privilege of, of booking earlier, but. Oh, I mean, this is this is great. You know, VidCon was a great experience. A lot of people try to figure out why you want to come to VidCon, why do you want to go out there, what do they really have to do with your channel. And what you really have to understand is the fact that collaborations are everything on YouTube. If you are a YouTube content creator, regardless what it is that you're creating on your channel, you want to be able to collaborate with any other given channel because of their fan base. You know what I'm saying? That fan base might not even know about your channel, know what it is that you do. So they're gonna bring their fan base over to your channel. Those individuals are gonna fall in love with your channel. That's gonna help you grow as a content creator. Yep. What he said. <laughs> as soon as I get to there, I'm gonna have to, uh, they booked me. It's one of those planes that has three and three with a, just the one center uh, aisle. Yeah. And they put me in the center between two people. So, okay. yeah. yeah, so as soon as I get to the airport, I'm gonna ask if they can <laughs> move me to a window. Um, if you do it online, they charge you 60 bucks. No, not to a window, to a preferred seating, they charge you $60. So, uh, I don't care about preferred seating, but I definitely want to, I definitely care about um, the window. I need the window so I can shoot for you guys. Looks like prime time made it. Prime time is not on time. Right, hard time. Make, making me all nervous. What did the other driver say? The other driver of Super Shuttle is like, oh, that you waiting for hard time? Hard time. <laughs> what? Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's picking somebody up there and then coming here. No, 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 he's there. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, there goes hard time. See ya, buddy. Right, oh, bro. yeah, do this. Okay. Right, See ya, man. man. All right. <laughs> All right, have a good flight, sir. Sir, you as well, man. Sir, sure. travel safe, bro. Travel safe. You, you too. There. Let's get out of here. Made it to the airport. Don't know what time it is. It is 4:47. And just to give you a heads up, I haven't gone to bed yet because we we got back to the hotel at like 11, 11:30. Then I had to shave, shower, get ready. By that time, I was like 12. I was uploading all my stuff to the computer. Then I had to compress it. I edited and uploaded it. So I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep all the way home. 
this is where I, I kind of get lost. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to check in there or I'm supposed to bypass all that stuff. There's priority check-in. This is business class. Let's try it. Yeah, since I did pre-check-in, I don't have to do anything in that line. So let's talk to this guy, show him my ticket, and then move up to there where they check my bags. Made it through security, the guy ahead of me forgot to take his laptop. It's like the number one thing you do, take the laptop out of the bag. So now he's being detained. They'll probably kill him. <laughs> Toronto, Air Canada, eight o'clock. 21B on time. Found it. Walked right past it. Walked it all the way down the other end. And that's where the security is. Walked all the way down there. And I realized that 21B is right here. Silly. Let's go get a coffee. Starbucks. Who would have thought? So I just calculated out I haven't slept in 20 hours. So I'm not tired. I might get cranky. <laughs> Alright, so I got the ham and Swiss on a very, very nice bun. It's crazy hot. That's my that's my pain scream. When I'm tired. So, this medium coffee, regular brewed, and that thing cost nine bucks. Eight ninety nine. dollars Ready to go, Starbucks. Finished breakfast. The bun was, or the sandwich, was absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go out and get it now. Uh, the coffee, indifferent. I just did a live stream and I literally was falling asleep. I apologize to everybody on my live stream, but I'm exhausted now. It just hit me like a ton of bricks. My eyes were very heavy. And now I have to end the live stream, just go for a walk because I am done. This isn't very fun at all. There'll be a good sleep on the way home. I have to, uh, as soon as that plane gets loaded and moved, uh, then I see if I can get a window seat as soon as possible. Another good thing about the window seat is you can put your head against the wall and that helps. Just got my uh, seat moved to a window seat. Yes. And I can sleep nicely. It's AC 794, Los Angeles to Toronto. I can start boarding at 7.30 and I am zone four, seat 23A. So I'll be on the left side of the plane. Hello. Yes. May I have a plane. So when I did my check-in at the uh, hotel, I used my Nexus Pass to do that, and that you need your Nexus Pass then not to get on the plane. Lesson learned.
Thank you. Thanks for the safe flight, sir. It's 32 degrees here. Oh, I know. I just don't want to drag the sweater. Just go through the Nexus line and go foam bob. Thank you, George. And that's all she wrote, folks. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. chicken chipotle wrap and a can of coke and then I went back to bed went back to sleep I guess you can call it and that was it videotape the landing I'm home back in Canada Bob oh, the man is here good to go well Unfortunately, Bob's truck SUV broke down. They're waiting for the CAA to come pick us up. I think my plane landed at 3.20 something, maybe let's say four o'clock at the latest. And then Bob picked me up and then the car broke down and we've been sitting on the side of the highway for about two and a half, three hours. Finally, a truck has come. We phoned CAA, which is the Canadian Auto Automobile Association and they lied the first time they said they were sending somebody out and he kept calling them and uh so a, a, an actual another friend of uh, bob's is coming to pick me up in a limo and uh needless to say he's not charging me for this which is the right thing to do oh well things happen i'm like sweaty it's hot in here but here's a place i never thought i'd be standing waiting for a limo So, another limo driver that, uh, a lot of limo drivers will have a whole crew of guys, and so this guy's name's Ken, so I'm in another limo, different limo, than the last one, similar layout though, so he's going to take me home, and I think that will end my day. And now it's time for Happy Bird the Shadows for Tuesday, June 28th, and they are Shady, Margarita, Haig, Ryan, Amira, Dave, Danny, Milan, Kalu, Oscar, Tom, Christopher, Nathaniel, Drake, and a friend of ours, Ken. Happy birthday to every single one of you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner. Whether you ate in or you ate out, happy birthday.